Um, I would describe the Ozarks first by the mountains and the hills that are here because they're so distinct from everything else around here. Um, and then the forests that cover them, um, very diverse, beautiful in all seasons. Um, the rock outcroppings, the cliffs, and then the beautiful um, slate-colored rivers and creeks that flow through it. And uh, the prairie in some places, because we're literally on the edge of the prairie, it kind of started here, so there's this beautiful combination of the two. I would describe the University of Arkansas campus as being completely of its time. Um, beautiful limestone brick buildings, very classic, um, with lots of turf and lots of beautiful trees and sidewalks that connect it. And unfortunately, not a lot of thought given to people-oriented spaces or kind of ecological benefit of the landscape. So there really is a huge opportunity here to kind of add both of those things, make the campus look more responsive and more part of the Ozarks while also making it just a nicer place to be. We really just started by looking around us. We looked at our campus, um, and then we looked a little bit farther at the incredible landscape around us at the Ozark Islands. Um, and we started to ask questions like, <laughs> why is our campus, um, why doesn't our campus match the beauty of this incredible place that's so close to us? Um, and so we really just started to think about how we could really bring kind of the beauty and the value and the performance of the Ozarks into our campus. So we're essentially killing two birds with one stone by solving A, some pretty key stormwater issues that we have on campus because of the topography change, because of the slope. Um, we have a lot of really difficult runoff issues that are hard to solve. Um, and we're also creating a campus that's a really rich place for people to come where they can experience this really beautiful sensory landscape. Um, and so I think this kind of two-sided approach is really what makes the proposal strong. And then just really using um, low impact development or LID techniques um, to really kind of mitigate stormwater effects where needed. Um, a lot of slope paths are really hazardous when it rains. There's flooding issues and contamination issues. Um, and so using bioswales and dry soils along with again that native plant palette um, to really kind of treat and retain stormwater as much as possible.